Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean out the carburetor on your own end generator on your miniature Widomago or any RV that has a min, uh, own end generator, uh, and walk you through the process of cleaning that out. So the generator is located right here in the side compartment on the driver's side behind the driver door. Um, we're going to get in there and look at that generator and open it up. Okay, so I'm going to do these latches, lift this up. Latch the door, it's a securing holder. Undo these here. Pull the door out, up and out. And there we have the generator right there. Okay, so this generator is not running good. The problem with it is that uh, it cycles and kind of revs up and goes down. It's not running smoothly. And the reason for that is the carburetor is gunked up on it. Um, the uh, generator on the, the Mini Winnie's RV, it feeds its fuel off of the gas tank from the, the, the vehicle gas tank, which might seem like a good idea, but the problem is is that um, these little bitty carburetors like this, they really do not like ethanol gasoline. They'll burn it just fine, but when the gasoline sits inside the bowl for a long time and it separates, it can cause some gelling and some clogging of the jets. Uh, the, v the main car fuel injection system doesn't have that problem, but uh, really uh, you don't want to leave any gas in these little bowls on the carburetors for any period of time. And since uh, Winnebago didn't provide a fuel shutoff valve so that you could drain uh, or dry the, run all the fuel out of the bowl or no drain valve to drain the fuel off, uh, whenever the RV is stored, it leaves that gasoline sitting in that bowl and sometimes the RV may be stored all winter, and then when you run the generator, it can not run or it can clog up the jets. So what we're going to do today is clean the, that, that carburetor out without having to take it out, which in most cases will actually fix the actual uh, problem with this. And so what we're going to do is bypass the fuel system on the truck, put in a separate fuel system, and run some cleaner through there to try to clean those jets and stuff out. So here we go. Okay, so step one is you're going to need some really fresh gas. I recommend going straight to the gas, gasoline station and getting your gas. You want to get some high octane, 91, 92% octane. You're going to use some sea foam cleaner. Uh, you could also use uh, Beach Well Chem Tool uh, cleaner. These are some really top quality carburetor uh, cleaners. And uh, this calls for one to two ounces for one gallon. I'm going to mix it at four ounces for a gallon, double strength just to really give uh, uh, some super good cleaning power because we're just going to do a concentrated clean here not a long-term clean so uh, I've taken an old mason jar marked on here where four ounces are if you have something else I, I recommend that whatever you use uh, you're not going to use for food so it'll be thrown away so I'm going to mix in four ounces here you know a little, little too much little too it's not a real precise thing I'm just measuring it out you could just kind of dump it in if you wanted to I'm going to dump that in to the tank okay just making a, a, a real concentrated clean here uh, to try to clean out the the gunk that's causing the carburetor to to not run right so now to step two okay now the next step is to bypass the fuel line from the vehicle tank uh, and so that we can hook in the separate little tank of gas that we prepared and to do that, we've got to go underneath. All right, so what we've got to do here is just come up in here and undo this little hose clamp here, loosen this a little bit, move it back a little bit on the hose. Okay, so now we got the hose clamp pulled off, and now we're ready to pull the hose off. Um, but this is a straight line to the fuel tank, which is actually a higher elevation than this, so gas is going to flow out of it. Um, so we're gonna have something ready before you pull this off to plug the gas line up. So I'm just gonna use a ballpoint pin with a plastic bag over it. It's about the same size of the uh, of the hose here. So just gotta work this thing off. And plug it up. All right, I'm gonna stick it up in there for right now. All right, so we've got 
we've got it off. Now we're going to bring our hose over from our, our fuel tank and just press it on there. Okay, so now we've got our fuel tank on, our, our external fuel tank, the hose hooked to that, and now we're going to run the engine. Now we're going to prime it using the primer. This is your primer start uh, button, so we're going to press it there. Let the pump prime it up. That'll draw the gasoline out of the little tank into the fuel line. Okay, now we're going to get started. Okay, so I've run it for about uh, 30 minutes, and now I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to run it some more. And what that's going to do is allow the, uh, the, the fuel cleaner to set in the bowl and kind of hopefully eat out some of the stuff. Now that we're sure that we've got all the other gasoline out, we've just got the, the treated fuel in there. And I'm just going to let it sit for about 30 minutes and I'll come back and run the rest of the gasoline out of it and then we'll run some fresh non-treated gasoline through. Okay, so I've finished running. I ran it for 30 minutes. I stopped it, let it sit for 30 minutes and then I ran it for another additional 30 minutes with the treated gasoline in there. Now I've disconnected the hose, um, reconnected the main fuel line and we're going to go ahead and prime it here. And we're going to run it a little bit on the regular gasoline to see if it's smoothed out. And if it hasn't smoothed out, then the only other option, if this doesn't work, the other only, only other option is taking the carburetor off and cleaning it or buying a new carburetor. And so let's hope that this works. Well, it looks like the seafoam cleaner uh, did its job, cleaned out the carburetor, whatever was clogging it up. It's running really smoothly out now. Um, had to let it run there for a little bit to kind of get, get the, the regular gas in there and get the cleaner out of there, but it's just really idling, running real smooth. So don't have to replace the carburetor. You know, sometimes it's, it's just too clogged and it's not going to work, guys. But uh, this is a good step to try before you replace the carburetor because the carburetor costs a few hundred dollars on this unit. So um, try this out first. I hope it, it helps you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. All of the parts and equipment used in this video to do this process, will, I will put links in the description of the video underneath the video. Just click on the Show More button uh, to see those if you're interested in the parts I've used for this. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.